Hello family, welcome back. It's your girl Cam. Today's video is I need you to do the work that you came to do because when you do the work that you came to do, we all win. And so this is for the person that has that dream in their heart that has been sitting on that idea that has been trying to push that passion to the back burner in exchange for a safe journey, right? The safe, proven, reliable path. But it's not really fulfilling, is it? You find yourself wondering, what if, what if you took the other road? Uh, you find yourself unhappy in what it is that you're doing. You find yourself wanting more, craving uh, that authenticity that comes from being alive, craving that passion, that spark. And so if that's you, I hope that you continue to listen. And so I want you to think of something. So there are, what a run on sentence. <laughs> I want you to think about something. So for me, there are a couple instances in my life where I've heard something that has just stuck with me. One of them, I say to you guys all the time, that is, I don't have bad days, I have character building days. Another one came from a YouTuber named Michelle B, who had a YouTube channel called Channel Notes. And when I was trying to launch my YouTube channel, I was the person that was trying to gather as much information about what I could do to be successful, what the process looked like before I started. And so her page was helpful. But one of the pieces of advice that was most helpful, and it didn't have anything to do with YouTube, it had to do with overcoming that fearful mindset of getting out in front of it and just starting and doing the work, was imagine if your favorite YouTuber, your favorite actor, your favorite chef, restaurant, product, whatever, imagine if your favorite, she said YouTuber, YouTuber never created their channel. And so just imagine that if something that you have a favorite of, if that person never took the chance to pursue that dream, if they had that idea and they just let it sit dormant and they never acted on it, imagine if you never got to experience that because they were afraid. You would have been searching for something and they had the answer. You see what I'm saying? And it's not that you couldn't find something else. It's just that Whatever it is that's your favorite, it solved a need for you. And so likewise, whatever that dream is that you have in your heart, that vision, it was given to you because you have what it takes to bring it to fruition. And when you do anything other than live in your purpose, then fulfill the dreams that were put in your heart, you're doing a disservice, not just to yourself, but to all of us. Because we're the answer to all of our problems. And so sometimes when we start going down these safe paths, these paths that have been kind of painted for us, the steps already laid out and we ignore that dream, it causes those feelings of disease within us. It causes us to feel unfulfilled because you're not living up to your piece of the puzzle, right? Like you're the key for somebody. And so I think about that sometimes, even myself, like when I speak or the days I don't feel like making a message. I believe that this is a calling on my life. And I believe that when you have a calling, you answer it. Because I believe that we're all unique, but as much as we are unique, we are all also one in the same. All right? And so I need for you to live in that purpose. If you're listening to this message, I need for you to get comfortable being uncomfortable as you go through the process of finding that purpose. Because in the words of, I believe it's Henry Thoreau, but don't quote me, I'll check it later. The world needs people who have come alive. And when you do what you love, you come alive. You do it with passion. You do it with vigor. You put your all into it and your work starts to feel like play. And when that happens, we get new ideas. We get new inventions. We get new solutions to old problems. We get innovation, but that can't happen if you're still scared and sitting on your dream. Because sometimes your dream is the step one in the building block to help somebody else achieve their dream. All right? And so I'm gonna go more in depth into this later, but that's just the quick version of it today in this little message format, the under five minute version. All right, so if this is you and you're sitting on that dream, I need you to go do that. I need you to do just a little bit of it until you're able to do a lot of it because we need you here okay okay 
So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate the love and support. If you're not following yet, please go ahead and hit that follow button. Um, I told you guys I got some big things popping, so be on the lookout for a website coming soon. Be on the lookout for some spoken word. <laughs> yeah, girl's the poet. Um, yeah, lots of exciting things. Be on the lookout for some workshops and definitely make sure that you're paying attention so you can come see me at some of those events and so I can see you and check you too, okay? So until next time, guys, hope that this reached you with all the abundance the universe has for you and I will see you in the next video.